I'm Amanda, and you all know John. We are going to talk to you today about goal setting. John is going to talk to you about goal setting and creating short-term goals, and I'm going to talk to you about long-term goals. So, I use short-term goals on a class-to-class -class basis, mainly for uh, my guitar classes, but also in my larger classes like band where I'm dealing with 40-plus uh, students in the room. Uh, main reason why I'm using the goal setting is to really get students to kind of take ownership of their own learning. Um, in a s specific field like music, you have these concepts like, for instance, the notes on the sixth string. Well, you have students that come into a Qadar class at different ability levels, and so we want to create an environment where uh, all the students can be working on the same concept, but working at it in their own pace and at their own ability level. And that's where the goal setting comes in. So we, if you take that concept, just kind of run with it with learning the notes on the sixth string. You know, we have students that will work on songs, but we have some students, for example, um, in their journals, will write things like, I want to work on transitioning between uh, the fifth and sixth string and being able to recognize those notes on the page. So those students use the same songs that the students in the rest of the class are using at the same time, but they work on their own specific uh, smaller concept within inside that overall concept. Uh, similarly, you have students that are just worried about reading the notes on the page. So they haven't even gotten to the process of applying it to the actual instrument. They're worried about being able to recognize those notes. So um, really kind of taking that overall concept, you know, what's the big picture? And, you know, for uh, just another subject like PE, if you think about weight training, you know, you want to think about what is you know, how do you perform a power clean? You know, you have some students who are, can already do the exercise, so they're looking at doing maxes or, you know, trying to get as many reps as possible. Or you have students who've never done the exercise before and they need to learn the basic fundamentals of what is the technique for a power clean. So that's really how I use goal setting. Um, I think it's great for the students. I've seen lots of progress. And I love doing it in the journals because the students can go back and they can examine where they hit road bumps. And they can go back and they can see, oh, well, if I'm learning, if I learned the notes on the sixth string and now I've jumped to the second string, what worked? You know, how did I go about it? And this can actually, you know, increase the amount of time that they have to work to kind of fine tune because they know how to approach A, B, and C. So that's really how I use short-term goals. All right, um, I use long-term goals. Really, my students create goals um, for the year, and we come back and look at them at the end of each quarter. Um, so at the beginning of each school year, I have my students complete a worksheet, and they identify some goals that they would like to um, set in world history. So just an example, focus and pay attention. So that's the broad goal, and I always ask my students, well, how are you going to pay attention? What do you need to do thinking about other classes to pay attention? I would like to sit in the front. Um, give me some breaks. So I really have them um, have a broad picture and then um, narrow it down. And so at the end of each quarter, we come back to these worksheets and we look at have we met our goals. If the students have met them, then we create new goals um, for the remainder of the year. If they have not, then we need to um, redefine and change um, some ways of achieving them. So it's really a guideline that we use to see um, them succeed in my class. And again, mine are more um, long term throughout the whole year. Um, long term wise, some improvements that I've seen are students just have direction. Um, they have a guide for them to succeed in the class and they know that I need to pay attention to um, get good grades in class. So you know, because students have this guideline, um, they have been able to meet the goals because they know exactly what they are doing and exactly what needs to be done. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Awesome.